Hi guys, Daniel from Discover 4x4 and Conqueror 4x4 Victoria. It's time to talk about one of my favorite things, which is the interior of the UEV 440 Platinum. Okay, so the one thing that makes the UEV 440 actually very unique is a rear entry. If for any reason you have young kids, they love the rear entry. But what happens is the um, rear gate opens up. Just as a bit of a side note, this is where your shower is here with your shower tent in the UEV 440, so you can shower just here. And then we've got two doors that open up. So we've got the top door first, which opens. Okay, so now we've got the top door open. We need to open the bottom door, which is just two protective bolts that keep it secure whilst you're driving. There's a protective strap on the side, gas struts take it down nice and slowly, but all you have to do is just make sure that it doesn't crash to the ground. To finish opening up and to enjoy the inside, we've now actually got to lift the roof up, okay? So one thing about the roof on a Conqueror, it's a piece of cake. So the gas struts have just taken over as I've pushed that up. You get two of these little black screws and what that does is you put those in the side there, a little bit hard to see, but you screw those straight into the side. And what that means is you're not gonna get any unfriendly surprises with a roof if the gas strut should ever fail. So this is just a fail safe to make sure that you're safe once you're in here. Now for this video, I'll exit out again, but you can actually see you've got a massive amount of standing room here. So the first thing that I think is really important to touch on with the 440 is the amount of storage that you've got. And I really have to emphasize storage, storage, storage. I would actually go as far as saying it's got best in class storage for your food and your drinks, which we've had a look at in a previous video. I'd now go one step further and say it's got best in class storage for all your items as well. And let me show you why. So in addition to your outside storage boxes, remember we've got four of those on the outside, you've actually got these three storage bins here. Now they don't look like much, but let me tell you a couple of great features. One, they've got Velcro across the top. So they zip up on the side and they keep everything in there secure. But when you're camping, what you don't want to do is have to zip or close things all the time. So you leave your zippers down and then your Velcro takes over. Now, we've actually just put some lights on the inside of these. I find those very handy, especially if you're looking for things at night time. But you've got three of these and I can absolutely tell you my entire arm fits in there. And this is an entire suitcase that you've got. So we tend to get plastic tub containers, one on each side that we can pull out so we're not searching for things right at the back. But you can put pajamas, pillows, sleeping bags, even in one of those uh, throughout the day. And, um, and super impressed with the amount of internal storage space in these three. But you've also got, when the roof lifts up, you've also got an entire shelf across the top here. So depending on what your camping style is, Sometimes we put our Ugg boots across there if we're going to bed, or put shoes, or an electronics box here that you want to grab your chargers out or something like that. But that's an entire shelf worth of storage as well. And remembering, in behind here, this is actually the pantry. So if you are inside, you could be having a lazy day, you could be having a lazy morning, you could just want to access a snack, you can actually grab whatever you want here from the, um, from the pantry as well. Another, another little benefit of that, and sometimes usually what happens, you wouldn't unzip it completely, just bring it down, grab something, and off you go. But the other benefit that I think is really good from this, which we didn't realise, sometimes if you've got one of your kids, if you've got kids, and they're just hanging out here, maybe watching a movie or something like that, sometimes kids need a bit of time out, then we can be out there cooking, and you can still look through here, and you can see the family, and they sort of feel like they're still part of it, even though they're having a bit of time out. I think that's a really unique feature that's heavily underrated. So that's storage galore and pantry. And then we want to move now over to your control box here. So this uh, one thing that people love about Conqueror, they love the practicality, they love the four-wheel drive ability, they love the look and feel of them, but they also love this tough military style look as well. But it's very, very practical. So I'll just go through some things here um, that you're likely to use when you're camping in a 440. First of all, you've got, um, you've got your Red Arc battery management system, uh, great Australian product, that'll take care of everything for you. You've got solar inputs, you've got a couple of batteries, um, so life's pretty with a Red Arc. 
You've got your hot water system. Um, that comes as standard in the Platinum as well, so it tells you what your temperature of the water is. Just down below here, you can't quite see it. You've actually got a, um, a radio, uh, which goes through the speakers inside the actual cabin. Uh, believe it or not, you've got a CD player, but I think most people tend to use the USB input instead, and uh, you can run some good music through there. But remembering, you've also got your high definition screen here. So what tends to happen, sometimes kids can be laying down here, you can have the movies on, and um, everybody's enjoying themselves. And I also tend to put the remote controls on some Velcro just on the side there behind the screen. And here's all your main control panels and your, um, your, your system there from Conqueror telling you what's going on with your battery. We also tend to, um, when we're inside, we put the fridge remote control inside. I don't know if you've ever, ever had a fridge fail, but if you do, it's horrible, especially if you're somewhere where you really need to keep your food um, cold. So when I come to bed at night, I tend to just put that up there and magnetize it on. If it fails for any reason in the night, um, then it'll beep and tell me something's gone wrong. And you have your fan up here as well. So that's a really cool unit. The good thing about this as well is that when you are packing, unpacking, you can just pop your head in, you can turn something on, you might get to where you're going and think, geez, I want to have a shower soon, whack your hot water on. You don't have to go um, right into the trailer to access that. So that's the, um, that's the control panel essentially um, inside the 440. You've also got some great airflow through the top here. As you can see, I was a little bit lazy when I packed this up before and I didn't zip up all my canvas and the roof's still closed and sealed. So what you'll tend to find, like any new trailer, it's like a new car, the first time you use it, you zip everything up and then you'll pull it down. By the time you've really settled into the 440, you'll just leave it down, push it up, lock it into place and you've got instant airflow inside your trailer. Um, the next thing to talk about there, or the final thing really inside here to talk about is the bed setup. Uh, this bed setup is actually really, really good. You've got your main bed at the back, which I'll show you in a minute, but I'll talk about the bed here that we're, uh, that's just on our right hand side. So this is a nice size double bed, um, especially for, for young adults or children, they can sleep in there no problems at all. And there is a bed extender at the end. So what you tend to find is throughout the day, if they're hanging out, reading books, magazines, if it's bad weather, they might be under the awnings. Um, they can lay there and enjoy themselves. And at night time, to give them just a little bit more room, a bit hard to see on camera, but you've got a bed extension here, which just clicks into place. So there's a, that makes the bed a little bit bigger, a little bit roomier. You still have ample room down the side here to walk up and down. And this is where the benefit of having storage up above the shelving really comes into play because you don't want to put anything um, in the walkway, but now what you do have is underneath your bed extension, that's where you can also start to put some items that you might need for the, ne for the next morning. So that's the bed setup. The other thing that I have to mention here, they've got their own lights, which is great, but the other thing which is really good is that's the solid outside wall of the actual Conqueror. So what you'll find is that, that people aren't sleeping under canvas. It's actually a solid roof. You would have seen on an earlier video, if you've seen the UEV uh, 440 outside, how that sets up, it's easy. But I, I kind of like it knowing that, um, that the kids in this case are sitting under a solid roof, not just a canvas roof. Okay, so from here, I wanna move on to the front bed now and come and check out some great features on this one. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the main bed. This bed, first of all, I'll show you from a, uh, from a different view, but it's absolutely enormous, right? But down the end where I'm sitting at at the moment, you've got another, yet more storage. Uh, the good thing about this storage box here, same thing, you leave the zips down, but it's a really nice little storage box. You can put your phones and all the items that you tend to leave by your bed in, in normal everyday life. You've got a USB charger, or get two USB chargers, I, I should say, just above it. So what we tend to do, put a couple of phones there, plug a couple of cords in, and, um, and then your phones are charging like they would at home. You can put your head torches, um, anything you need without having to shuffle around the bed. You do have a little bit of storage on the side here as well. Um, this storage um, is secure so things won't fall down. That can be really good for books, magazines, tablets, something like that, um, that maybe won't fit into this or, or, or have to be bent or squashed to fit them in. You got a couple of speakers here too. So if the family is watching a movie, you can enjoy it from inside. And on the other side of the bed too, you've actually got even more storage on the side that you can rest things. So sometimes when we, when we go camping, what we tend to do is I have another box that I put at the base of my bed that has everything I might need. 
Um, I'm the allocated mi middle of the night person. So if someone wants to go to the toilet or if something happens, I'm the person that has to actually get up out of bed and fix it or do it or address it. So I've got a little box that I put at the end of the bed with all my, I might need this stuff in the middle of the night pile. And, um, and it's really good because it's there, but it's not in the way. So the 440 bed is a real surprise packet. And in saying that, I'm just gonna get up into it now and show you how big it is. So a couple of things to note with the bed in the Conqueror 440. First of all, look at the size, right? So if, if you look at me laid out, there's plenty of room. The other thing which you can't see, but I really have to mention, it's got like an eggshell topper as standard. It's probably one of the most comfortable night's sleep you'll have. It's firm, but not too firm. And most importantly, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's comfortable for both a husband and wife, uh, I've noticed, which is really, really good. But the other thing as well, if you just want to chill out and hang out up here, then you can easily sit up too. So in our case, sometimes we'll sit up, I've got a little flat area there, have a cup of tea. You can unzip the window from the side here. So I usually pass in the cup of tea to my wife in the morning and we can sit up here nice and comfortably and quietly. And actually you can see the amount of headroom that we've got. It's really, really, really um, generous. The light on and off, of course, so we can access anything in the night. And the 440 really is a great um, area, especially for the adults up here, to sit, hang out, sleep, do whatever they need to do. So getting out, nice and easy as well. All you simply do, remembering, 440s and Conquerors are about camping, and they're about enjoying it. So even the, the thrill of getting in and out of that bed makes you actually feel like you're not in all day regular life. So hope you've enjoyed the video on the 440. They really are a great package. I think they're very, very surprising. And I know in our case, they've been completely um, suitable for all of our needs. Anyhow, thanks for checking out the video. Conqueror 4x4 Victoria, come and check it out anytime you're out.